every third Russian citizen has no savings. Such data is provided by the Levada Center based on the results of a social survey for January 2024. Another 16% of Russians have saved less than the monthly family income for a rainy day. At the same time, the Public Opinion Foundation writes that 8% of the citizens of the Federation do not have enough money even for food. The main thing that happened in the Russian economy was, in fact, a reduction in certain industries that were aimed at producing goods for general consumption and an increase in the part of those that provide the defense industry. As a result, there is a slight increase in 2023. The slight increase is due to the fact that the state is infusing billions of dollars into the Russian economy to produce tanks, shells and other weapons. The item National Defense, the Army, Military, Industry and Payments to Combatants will have almost 11 trillion rubles from the state budget in 2024, which is a third of all expenses. To maintain the Kremlin regime, another 3 trillion 400 billion will be spent on law enforcement and internal security. For comparison, spending on social programs will amount to just over 7.5 trillion rubles. Western leaders argue that this model is utterly unsustainable over the medium term, but the question is, for how long it can sustain? Russia has transformed its economy into a mobilized war economy. The Russian state is spending a record in the post-Soviet era. Military and security spending at up to 40% of the budget is back to late Soviet era levels. Other areas of state support to the population have been squeezed to make up for funding the production of tanks, missile systems and those defenses in the occupied Ukraine. Faisal Islam, economic editor, BBC News. The outflow of foreign capital from Russia continues. The other day, the last Western car manufacturer left the Federation. The German automobile manufacturing concern sold its 15% stake in the largest Russian truck manufacturer, Kamaz reported the general director of the company, Sergei Kagogin. He refused to name the buyer of the share, as well as the amount of the transaction, noting that the German concern has not participated in the life of the Russian automaker since February 2022. The Moscow Times writes on Telegram. Difficult times await the Russian economy, experts from the International Monetary Fund also believe. The infusion of trillions of government rubles into the military-industrial complex will not be able to overcome the most painful problems for the Russian economy, the outflow of specialists, limited access to technology and the influence of Western sanctions. Today we can observe an overstrain, so to speak, of the Russian economy in connection with the war. And the situation will only get worse. The figures of the GDP growth that the Russian leadership boasts today should be taken with some skepticism. Why? Because there are large military expenditures there. If there were no military spending, the question arises. Would there be such economic growth? Income from exporting goods abroad has also declined. Compared to the first year of the war, raw materials revenue decreased by 34%. The main losses are from significant discounts on gas from supplies to Russia's few partners. Thus, the volume of revenue at the end of 2023 was the lowest since the COVID pandemic. Reported by Diana Kolesnik, Larissa Zubenko, UATV News.